Hi guys, it's Monica. How y'all doing tonight? So we are here tonight to go over the do's and don'ts with cruising. So come on in guys, come on in, let's chat, let's talk. Let's see what you got. So anyway, I'm not here alone. I have my trusty, trusty, sweet, fan Who lover, <laughs> my sugar in my tea, my creamer in my coffee, the one and only Mr. Dale Savage. Come on in, baby. Say hi to the people. Hi to the people. <laughs> How's everybody there in television land today, tonight? Hope everybody's doing well. Good to see you again. Listen, I got to run off for a second, but I'll be right back. So you just sit tight and sit right, and I'll be right back. God bless you. Well, come on in, guys. It's Tuesday, 9.30, and it's time for the trap. Tra time to travel with the savages. Yes, it is. Let's travel with the savages. We are going to... Go over the do's and don'ts with cruising. So come on in. Come on in. Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, just want to tell you a little bit about the Savages. We are a team. My name is Monica, and his name is... Mr. Monica. <laughs> Better known as Dale Savage. <laughs> and we are the Savages here every Tuesday night at 9.30, making it raw and plain in travel. Uh, taking you different places to see, places to be. And um, we have one in particular that will be going on in, what, August next month? 21st. Yeah. Oh, he got it down pat, too. You know exactly what day we're getting up out of here. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I got to drive to Miami. I think I know. <laughs> yeah, we will be leaving out of Miami, going to four different stops um, above the Carnival. Hor which one? The Horizon. Horizon. The beautiful Carnival Horizon. You know a little bit about that one? Well, I know it's a nice ship. It's one of the newer ships. It's less than two years old, or right at two years old. So it's a new ship. We're looking, we're eagerly looking to explore the ship. That's one of the treats in itself is being on this beautiful new ship. So the islands are a treat too, but we just want to see that beautiful ship and find that we're around the Carnival Horizon. Well, I can't wait to go to Curacao. I've Curacao. never been there and I'm excited to go. Um, we also been to Aruba going neither. to Aruba. Never been to Aruba. So excited about going to Aruba. Then we got La Romana. <laughs> So there's three different spots that we have not been to, guys, that um, this this cruise is going to give us an enlightenment. And we always like to go because it shows us, you know, the way people live in those different countries. Yes. And makes us appreciate the country we live in. Yes. Absolutely. Although those countries down in the Caribbean are beautiful. They, they are, are beautiful. They are no nice. mistake. But there's no place like, like home. home. <laughs> and so yeah just a little bit we've been in uh travel we're we we're professional travel agents been in the business for over what almost over six years now and we love to travel uh we were going through i was going through uh facebook when i ran into a friend who did travel and so thought about it and i was like hmm we like to travel, and um, we had been traveling, you know, going places, doing things, different countries, cruising and stuff. And so we decided, um, well, I asked, talked to Mr. Savage about it, and he was like, yeah, let's do that. Because actually, guys, we are able to write our travel off on our taxes because we are working. You know, every time we go somewhere, we actually talk to people about going different, other, going to other places. Um, and meeting people and, you know, bringing them into the fold as clients and, you know, finding trips for them and things like that. So that actually gives us the chance to write off, write off um, all our travel on our taxes. And that's what we've been doing for the last six years. So it's, it's been working, huh, baby? Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, we you know, we've been cruising a lot, uh, mainly the last uh, 
10 years we've been cruising at one point we were doing what twice a year two, yeah a couple times, times a year. three times a year and so we, we were cruising experts we were going doing a lot until guess who showed up the pandemic COVID 19 showed up so i don't think we cruised at all in 2020 and so we actually um didn't cruise at all so this first um uh, next month august will be our first cruise back in the water so after yeah after a year now a year and a half of no cruising we've been it's been driving us crazy so we can't wait till august the 21st come when we can get back on that cruise ship and so in talking about the cruise ship uh, we learned a lot of different things um, that some things have changed um, in the cruise world that uh, the companies aren't the cruise companies are not allowing or want you to do differently so I guess you know when they were out of the water they had time to think about all the the good stuff and the bad stuff with cruising and so uh, we just gonna go over a few things um, the do's and don'ts on cruising and one of them um, is that the number one uh, don't is don't bring water bottles on the cruise ship what about alcohol um far as alcohol um they still you can still have one bottle of wine you can bring one bottle of wine uh in your luggage um they prefer pair, pre, prefer that you bring it in your carry-on so that they can see it and know that you have it and so there's one bottle of wine that what, you can bring. What no, about sodas? No liquor. Sodas. You can bring a 12 pack of sodas um, in the can. Has to be in the can, can't be uh, in the bottle. And so um, also, you know, if you're coming from out of the country, or I'm sorry, mm -hmm. out of the country or out of the state and you're flying, you want to make sure you leave enough time. Uh, to bring to fly in and get on the cruise ship because most of the time the cruise ships leave at four o'clock and They leave with or without you. So if you don't show up before four o'clock You just might get left. So leave enough time to get on the, you know to get there and get on the ship before the ship leaves so like if you're coming out of state you might want to spend the night you know find a hotel and spend the night so come the day before um, and so, you know, that's for those people that live outside of um, whatever, crew, wherever the cruise ship is leaving from. You know, we have like four, well, we have four or five different ports out of Florida. Yes, you have. You have Fort Lauderdale, you have Miami, you have Cape Canaveral, mm -hmm. and sooner or later, I guess, the Tampa port is going to open back up. Mm -hmm. I think Jacksonville has a port, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, what is that, five? And I think there's one near Port, uh, Fort, 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 Fort Walden Beach or somewhere up in there. I think they have a port over there, I think. Anyway, mm, not, not sure about that. Don't yeah. know about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you got uh, five of them. That was, that was five. Fort Lauderdale, Miami. You did Miami, Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. Jacksonville, Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral. And Tampa. And Tampa. It's five five ports coming out of my out of Florida so yeah so um, so for those that that are flying in just make sure that you fly in the day before get a hotel spend the night we the cities that there that these ports are in are beautiful guys they have a lot to do that you can do um, like Tampa for instance you know we go down to Tampa hey Gretchen we go um, downtown Tampa at the um, what, what's it? What's Gretchen the, Mickler. Hey, Gretchen. Um, port, what a port is in, in Tampa? Port of Tampa? Yeah, the Port of Tampa. That's port it. of Tampa. Tampa Port Authority. And um, and we ride our bikes down there, and we watch the cruises, cruise ships go in and out. But they have um, Channel Side, and Channel Side is really getting big now, guys. So when you come down to uh, Tampa, you can hang out at Channel Side. Um, you can do like we do the river walk and they have a lot of stuff right around the river walk and in, in, in tampa you've got bush gardens you got adventure islands you got um, lowry park you got lowry park 
So there's a lot of different things you can do if you try to, if you come down the day before or make it a weekend, you know, a couple of days before you get on the cruise ship. There's a lot of things you can do in Tampa. There's a lot of things you can do in Miami. You got South Beach. Well, um, in you know Miami, you can hang Miami. out. They, they, they got a, uh, a, uh, a train that you can that'll take you around the city of Miami um, so that you can see the area we did that when we went down to Miami one time um, then they've got Fort Lauderdale you've got all kind of shops down there in Fort Lauderdale is it, you, is it more it's like a, big, a gigantic mall is that, that more like a monorail in Miami or is that is that isn't it, more like a monorail it's probably like a monorail because it's in the air yeah it's so a monorail. it goes around the city yeah about but, um, 30 feet high so this is more yeah. of a monorail yeah and then fort lauderdale has that little bus that takes you around the city yeah that we got on and these things are free guys those the, the monorail is free for you to ride around the city as well as the bus um around fort lauderdale is free so you could just you know do a hop on hop off thing and see different areas of the different cities and stuff um we've actually did all of them jacksonville is beautiful they have a nice um uh, a little area that they have that's right there on the water where you can just walk down um like a, a boardwalk and just enjoy the different shops and stuff that they have in jacksonville so we have a lot of different things that you can do in those cities where those ports are but um that's a number another thing you don't want to you want to make sure you save enough time or allow yourself leave enough, enough time, time to uh to get down on the ship uh, the prepaid the gratuities um a lot of you might want to go ahead and pay those up front because that way you don't have to worry about it at the end of the cruise after you went to different places and you spent all your money <laughs> that kitty cat is in here <laughs> and you spend all your money and so now you have to pay those gratuities before you can get off the ship so you might want to go ahead and pay those up front so you don't have to worry about that um, um, you have to be mindful of the time changes so like if you're over on the east on the west coast and you're coming in um, on a cruise and you're flying into um, Florida or somewhere like that or you leave in Florida coming in going to California you got to be mindful of your time changes and so because um, we made that mistake one time too we came in and was sitting at the airport waiting and didn't realize that we hadn't changed our, mm -hmm. our watches our time back and so we sat there and waited for the for the um, to go to go get on the bus and uh, the bus left us because we didn't get back we didn't get there in time thinking that we still had time to play with while we were down in fort lauderdale and so we got to be aware of the time changes um don't drink too much um just putting that disclaimer out there because um you know if you drink if you over drink you know that can that can really mess you up too. You you can you know while you're drinking on the cruise ship, sometimes you know if you get too drunk, they may put you out. <laughs> you, you might lose control, <laughs> doing some crazy stuff. And don't overeat. Well, that's easier said than done. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that right now. <laughs> Most people, 99% of the people, are going to overeat on a cruise ship. <laughs> Yeah, and so don't overeat me, um, because you have to watch, and you know, if you're watching your weight and you don't want to lose, you know, you don't want to gain the weight that you probably spent all year trying to lose so you can look nice in your bathing suit and then you get on the cruise ship and then lose your mind, then you lose all the weight, you gain all the weight back that you thought that you lost, you know, before you got on the cruise ship, so... Just watch what you eat, you know, of course, it, like they said, what, they, what you say the, uh, the comedian used to tell you? <laughs> well, you, they say a cruise ship is nothing but a floating golden corral because <laughs> there's so much food, man. It's just food everywhere, basically 24-hour food, man. And But the main thing is, if I mean, you're going to eat. So you have to offset that by doing some extra. They have a beautiful track on the ship. They have a gym and a spa. You have to offset your eating by 
working out. I get up every morning on the cruise ship, 5 o'clock, she'll tell you, and I go walking, and I go to the gym because I know I'm going to eat. So I try to offset it by getting that metabolism going early in the morning, okay? So that's that's how I keep my weight uh, respectable. <laughs> respectable, I should say, because you can gain you can gain 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 up to five pounds on a cruise ship. Trust me, on a five day cruise, if you're not careful, you're eating and drinking, you come back five pounds heavy if you're not careful. So I've learned my lesson. I exercise to offset, and I've curtailed my eating habits. And you need to make sure you bring a power strip because the cruise ship in those rooms they only have like one plug. And I would hate for you to have to sit there and fight between the two of you guys, two, you know, the two people that's in the room, in the cabin, Great to fight mind. over charging your phones and stuff, or shaving, or combing your hair, or curling your hair. And now you got to take turns using this Excellent. one plug. Excellent reminder. So definitely bring a power strip. Excellent reminder. And also, um... <laughs> They don't have a clothing a clothes cloth a uh, iron clothing iron to iron your clothes with, so don't bring a clothes iron. Well, listen, they, they're gonna take it from they, you. They have an they iron. It just, it. It's in the laundry room. Every floor has its own laundry room, so you have to go to the designated laundry room to use the iron. You can't have an iron in the room. They will take it. Yes, and yeah. and at one time they were letting you bring um, steamer. Steam, but uh, they take steamers. It out too now. So I've got to find out are the steamers going to be allowed back on the cruise ships? I doubt it. You know, because so. they they took them away. But they have irons there, and they have ironing boards um in the separate does like you said designated room where you wash and dry your clothes as well. So you can you can they do have washing washers and dryers. So you know if you don't want to over bring clothes. Um, you can always bring just enough and then wash the ones that you have and then put them back on again. Uh, you're going to be there anywhere from 3 to 8 to 10 to 14 days. And so you, know, you days. might not want to overpack. Who's going to be on a cruise ship um, 14 days? Because they have now started limiting the weight size on your suitcases. Uh, what was it, 50 yeah, they have a weight limit now, pounds. just like just like the airlines, fifty yeah. pounds. So, um, so you have to watch how you pack. You can't overpack, and then um, then you have to take it all out and get rid of it because they don't, you know, they they gave you the weight um, limit limit, and that's all you got. So, um, with the um, the daily itinerary now, they have taken away the paper itineraries. So basically, you almost have to have a cell phone that has apps on it because now they want you to download the app for whatever ship you're on, whatever um, company ship you're on. So you have to download the app, and on the app, they give you all your information about the shows that's happening, the things that you can do, places that you can go, um, where you can, when you want to... Um, do download your tours tell you know sign up for the different tours that they have set up for the um cruise ships when you get on the islands and stuff so um so you uh are gonna need to bring your cell phone and make sure you have app capabilities on that phone now could we go over one more time the rules regulations with the covid Restrictions, COVID, gui COVID guidelines, the the the, um, the uh, each ship has their own, and 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 the CDC has uh, mm -hmm. certain restriction now. So what what exactly what are the policies as far as having your COVID shot or not? So um, with most of the cruise ships right now, they are asking that you have your COVID shot. Um, I know Carnival, um, right now, they are 95% co uh, vaccination and 5% non-vaccination. So that means they're allowing 95% of the people that have had their vaccination to get on the cruise ship and 5% of the people that have not had their vaccination to get on the cruise ship. So the 5% will have to sign up for 
their uh, sign up for or register to allow them to get on the cruise ship um, with no, no vaccination. So that's this. That's basically the CDC guidelines. Now, um, at some point, they are in the middle of fight um, of you know filing suits and stuff litigation. with the state litigation to allow the cruise ships a little bit more control over who they let on their on their ships. And so, but right now, um, that's where they are. I don't, I'm not sure if they've changed it to that point to any any other point as 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 of right now, as far as Carnival is concerned. And I'm thinking the other cruise ships are pretty much about the same. So you do have to request um, that you be allowed to get on the cruise ship with you, without having a vaccination. And it does follow other things But as there well are some protocols because, pertaining to that, right? Yeah, so if you don't have your vaccination, you will have to um, do a COVID test. And without having a vaccination, you are going to have to pay for that COVID test. And um, the COVID test is um, something like $75 or something like that. Um, not quite sure because every ship is different. Um, company is different. Um, they have different prices. But yeah, so you will have to pay for that COVID test to show that you don't have um, the COVID uh, virus. So you'll have to pay for that, and then um, and they'll just they'll just tack it on to your shore account, your your ship ship account, so that you know you won't have to pay for it up front, or you'll pay for it just like you pay when you get get at the end for your gratuities and stuff. It's basically considered a gratuity, and so um, but you have to set. They give you a, a set amount of time to apply. Send in your application to allow you to get on the ship without uh, the vaccination. Any other thing else on that date? The CDC guidelines. Okay, what what testing? what are what what's the protocol if unfortunately someone does come up, uh, positive while they're on the ship? What's the protocol for that? Because people have asked me, and I didn't give them probably I didn't know the exact correct information to tell so. So the, the the protocol with getting on the ship? No, no. If you if you're on and somehow or another you contract um, COVID while you're on the ship. So the ship has a um, they have an area set aside for people to go um, quarantine your behind. They quarantine yeah. you and they have a quarantine area to send you to go to be quarantined so that you don't affect everybody else on the ship. So they have that set aside. And as um, soon as you feel like you're sick, they test you. So if you show signs of some type of symptoms that seem sound like they're COVID symptoms, they will test you and see if you have COVID. They have doctors on board, nurses on board to um, to give you the to give you the test and stuff. So um, they they have put in a lot of protocols Some to safeguards, yeah. safeguards to you know keep you people that do turn out COVID. Like now they have um, people that are doing follow-ons, and if they go on the cruise ship, and even if they've had their their um, vac COVID vaccination, and they come from another country, and then they get back on the cruise ship to go to go back again to another country. They test those people as well because the United States don't allow you to come back in the country and if you if you've been out of the country and then you're getting ready to go to go back out the country. So they test you um if you're if you've come from another country going back out to to getting back on the ship to go to another country. So so um that they will do and if you're if you've already been tested they're not going to charge you for that if you've been vaccinated you won't get charged for that extra test um at that time but that's as if that's if you're um doing a follow-on you know they're not going to test you unless there's countries that you're going to that require testing to get to go to that country so um they may have you do a test then, and then at that point, they're not going to charge you for that as well if you're vaccinated. So 
So some countries don't take, they don't care if you're vaccinated or not. If you go into their country, they want you to test too. So um, then I got just a couple of more things and then um, we'll be done. If anybody has any questions, um, we'll be glad to answer them um, to let you know. LaShawn you Winless. Want me to tell you both hello. Oh, tell Sean we said hey. <laughs> yeah, Lord Sean cousin. Winless. Sean. That's Sean. Your cousin Sean. Tell her you said oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Hey, cuz. How you doing, cuz? And, um, of course, uh, to get on the cruise ship, you don't necessarily have to have your passport, but you will need to have your birth certificate as well as a picture ID, whether it be a state driver's license or a state identification card. You will need to have a picture ID as well as your birth certificate to get on the cruise ship. And worse it wise, it's best to get your, your passport. <laughs> It, it, it's just best to have it, even though there are certain situations where you won't need it when you're traveling, but it's always best to have your passport. So, worst of wise, if you don't have it, get it if you can. And um, last but not least, um, we do um, do this. If you're going on a cruise and you want to um, have questions or if you want to find some friends prior to going on that cruise, they have group cruise uh, cruise group cruises where you can actually put in that group for that date on that cruise that you're going to and all the people that jump on that group you can actually talk to them and see them so that when you get on the cruise you pretty much know them and have seen them and, and you can become friends. Got acquainted with them already. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's another thing you can do is join a cruise group um, for that date cruise. So you post you post in um, cruise for August the twenty first on the Carnival Horizon, and then that way you can look at it and um, and it'll pop up. It'll, and they'll have all the people that's going on that cruise. You can actually talk to them and, and get to know them before boarding the cruise ship. So I'm you know I'm thinking it's gonna be a a lot of those pe a lot of people doing that now because everybody's getting excited. That's you know, right. Like we are. I'm very excited. About on, I can't, on the cruise. can't wait. Yeah. And we've got some people going um, that we're going to celebrate their birthday. And some of our friends from Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to be her birthday. So we'll be celebrating her birthday, uh, Miss, Miss Charlotte Pointer. And we can't wait. Charlotte and Jerry. Blake and Jerry. We can't wait to um, join them for the cruise. Uh, and if you guys, anybody looking to cruise, we would love to have you. August the 21st to the 28th. Um, next week, uh, we're going to be looking at either going to Alaska or Canada. So Alaska or Canada, because uh, um, those are next on the bucket list. So guys, what about Hawaii? Uh, I thought Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Don't please don't oh, forget Hawaii. Oh yeah, Hawaii in February. I got to go see Jack Lord. Mr. Savage's birthday. Yeah. Got Hawaii. to go see Steve McGarry. Hawaii Five O. Yeah, man. Uh, Book how that song go? Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Book him, Dano. Yeah, Hawaii 5 -O. I finally get to meet old Steve McGarry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, if you're interested, let us know. We can set you up a trip. We got some uh, people going actually next month uh, to Hawaii. So, they're going to tell us all about it and how they enjoyed it. And so when um, they come back, and we'll know a little bit more about Hawaii. And then we'll be going in February um, for his birthday. And we've got For some... my 60th birthday. <laughs> 60th birthday. we got some friends going um, with and so it's going to be exciting. So, guys, if anybody's interested, give us a call. So, Gretchen, Hi. you're saying, okay, you got your passport? Is that what you're saying? So, if you got it, 
Right on. At your passport. Right on. If is you, she saying you got it or is she saying she got it? I'm not sure. That's what I'm saying. If you're saying you got it right on, <laughs> if you're going to get it right on again. <laughs> but it's always best. It's just she best said no, it. no passport. Well. She's not going out the country. Well, no. You, may, you never know when you may change your mind. <laughs> but she got her shot. Yeah, well, so you can still go on the cruise. You don't need a passport to go on a cruise, Gretchen. That's right. So come and go with us in August. We love for you to come and hang out with us next month at the on the Carnival Horizon. Mm -hmm. We love to have you with us. Yep. <laughs> anyway. Um, we are going to go ahead and say goodbye because... Um, well, you, you don't have to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, we'll see you at the top, right? Because the bottom is just, just too, too crowded. crowded. <laughs> so in the words of the most famous TV or not, well, TV host, Don Cornelius, we wish you, as, as in parting, as always in parting, we wish you love, peace. And, and savages. savages. We'll see you next time. Boom, boom. We love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So, God bless each and every one of you. Good bye night. bye. Bye bye. Good night, Gretchen. Love you. Have a great night. Bye, guys.